Okay, welcome to another video by Peninsula Floating Floors. This is a Chardonnay 21 mm, uh, must be around 90 meter mark. Uh, it's a Renault in Mornington. Uh, the floor took a rose up the level of quite a bit and so we the door was actually tapping on the floor so we just undercut the door and we repaired it and put some trims on it uh, this is definitely up there with my top three installs it just looks amazing so uh, this is the entrance hall these nice L's and new draft excluder there um, this goes down into a studio um, we built a custom step which came out really nicely i've never veneered the ends before of a of a cut but it came out really nice so we sanded all the corners and stained it so really yeah really pleased with that so, uh, Uh, sitting room took all, all the skirts off as usual undercut all these skirts where the windows were shorten them down caught around the fireplace this was all on yellow tongue so it's got a bit of a bounce but it was total glue down there's quite a lot of undulation between the joists sagging of the yellow tongue so we troweled the glue out with a six mil trowel rather than the a square trail rather than the three mil v groove so we've got plenty of uh, traction on the boards and then through to the living kitchen there was a wall where the unit was that's all been knocked out but it just just came out really nicely so we, again got equidistant boards through the door it worked out really nicely we lasered down this hallway and the boards are absolutely perfect the, the left hand boards were just like 30 mil all the way down we actually had a look at the the unit and even the join that goes on the board it goes all the way down the unit it's 57 mil all the way down so the guys who put the the uh, sorry the island in made a brilliant job of it they got it absolutely they obviously lasered it as well i get them where they're like seven eight nine ten mil off and it looks terrible when the floor is square you get a big wedge going off so yeah the kitchen and the utility. Just a uh, bit top bit of a skirt on there to match, to tie that off. All the kickers, we were lucky they were originally on, but they were screwed on, so we managed to get them all off. <clears throat> Undercut this one with a nice clean blade, with a clean cut. They put, the they put their kickers back on and use packers above them, so you push them all tight onto the floor. I'm going to cut that one, came up really cleanly and the rest just went on nicely. That's just stunning. I mean, the quality of the, the boards, we just got beautiful boards coming out all the time. This is a office. We did. This is obviously, you can see it's, it's higher than the main floor. So there was a step here. So we... Um, Cut the floor, cut the step down, um, sanded it down flush with the floor, and made a custom step here. Nice trip hazard, but it came out beautifully. Again, you just put a 45 mitre there and then just sand the edges off and stain it. And we under all the doors had to have about 20 mil off, so it came out really nicely. And then the hall so the guys this 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 wall used to be further over to the left and they had a walking robe and this was a dead end so they put this they widened it put this beautiful door in so the whole place just looks totally different now so, cupboard back room usual we took the took the rails up it's all been skirted in there Threw a bit of MDF away underneath it, and then it drops down 20, perfect for the raising of the floor 21. And you get nice clean lines. And 
and then no and then uh, another bedroom slash office again took the rails off and uh, yeah just just beautiful so there you have it 21 mil French oak in the Chardonnay. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then smash a like on it. If you didn't, then don't do anything. Thank you.